Well, hello. Uh, my name's Nick Flood from IBM Australia, and it's my absolute delight to introduce you to two special guests today. We have Bo Mabry from ISW, an IBM Platinum business partner, and Trent Gunthorpe from Australian Settlements Limited, ASL. Bo and Trent, great to meet you both. Thanks, Nick. Bo, I'll pass to you first. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, a little bit about ISW. We are based in Hobart, Tasmania. We've been an IBM business partner for 25 plus years. We have offices all over Australia. We have offices in Europe and we have a small presence in North America. ASL have actually been in business for about the same time as ISW, maybe a little bit more. Um, we started in the 90s. Um, who we are, we're a payments provider, primarily to the banks in Australia, uh, fintechs and other corporate organisations providing them access to the payment systems in Australia and different capabilities so they can provide better payment experiences to their customers. Fantastic. And Trent and Bo, uh, clearly whenever you're working with money, ensuring payment integrity is a key focus. And I understand that you've been partnering on a really innovative solution around safer payments. Would you be able to shed a little bit of light on what you've been doing together? Yeah, sure. IBM Safer Payments is, is the leading fraud prevention platform on the market today. Mm -hmm. IBM would refer to it as a cognitive fraud platform, which mm -hmm. I, I agree with. I, ISW was able to take the IBM Safer Payments offering, wrap some of our intellectual property around it, and through the IBM embedded software agreement mm -hmm. offering, we put together an ESA. Yeah. That ESA allows us to offer Safer Payments as a managed platform as a service. Fantastic. Through the ESA offering, we can, along with our intellectual property, along with the hosted offering, we can also put it out to tr clients like Trent, ASL, and then they can offer it to their clients. Fantastic. So in many ways, IBM has given us the ability to white label mm -hmm. our solution. Mm -hmm. We have been then given the ability to allow Trent to also white label our solution to his clients. Fantastic. And within that ecosystem, ISW are bringing your premier systems integration and solution expertise to ASL, and then ASL in turn are then providing that on behalf of your end user clients. Correct. And we're experts in payments, and we look for modern best-in-class solutions and partners to work with. Um, and when it was looking for a solution that was going to help around managing financial crime and fraud, um, we went out to the market. We actually tried a couple of times in doing RFPs to look for the, the right solution until we found one that was right. But we went through and we, we were very critical about uh, understanding what our customer needs were, what the market needs were, and even from a regulatory point of view. Um, so when we went through our assessment, um, the IBM and ISW solution just came to the top. Yeah, there was no, no question. And even when we tested the market, um, a big thing around trust, as soon as we said IBM, as soon as we said safer payments, our customers were like, yep, we know we trust that solution. So it just made sense for us to go ahead. IBM's solution, if you look where safer payments is deployed, it's it's in the big end of town. You know, some Fantastic. big companies in France, big companies in Germany, big companies in America are using mm -hmm. it. Billions of transactions a year are running through certain. We were fortunate enough to be able to provide that same capability to the SMB or to the tier, the middle market, if you will. That's great. Mm. It's such a great and powerful example around the democratization of technology yeah. that yeah. Uh, no longer is it just the preserve of the top end of the town, yeah. but many organizations can benefit from these innovative capabilities. Yeah, there was no way that our customers could get access to the technology by IBM just for the nature of how small they are, their, their budgets and I guess even their expertise. Um, but the process that we've worked through and how we've taken the technology and partnering with ISW has allowed us to put a product together both at, um, you know, from a proposition point of view, but also commercially as well, that works for everyone. So we're able to kind of propagate that solution across our, our customer base relatively easily. And, the, and it goes both ways. So, you know, there's people that would knock on Bo's door and potentially were in the, in the past, he wouldn't be able to service. Yeah. He can actually direct them our way. We can service them and, you know, they still get access to the solution. And, you know, there's a commercial model there that works. Fantastic. Such a great example yeah. of ecosystem. Uh, the other perspective I bring to this is that I genuinely believe the world's becoming so complex uh, and technology is progressing so quickly that IBM have certainly realized that no one company can do it just by themselves. Yep. So it's a great example around multiple parties, three in this case, are delivering something that's more than just the sum of its part uh, parts on, on behalf of uh, really valued end user clients. Yep. 
Nick, one, one thing that's been really powerful about this ESA is it has afforded us the opportunity to take our offering out to market to other business partners as well. Fantastic. We've been working with the IBM Global team, and I believe it, that we're the only partner in the IBM ecosystem in the world that's actually offering this type of solution, an embedded safer payments, or as we call it, secure payments offering. That's really unique to us, and it was pretty surprising to hear that we we're the only ones doing it. To that end, we have been approached by IBMers and other IBM business partners. So we are in a position to, again, white label this to the larger IBM partner system. We can support them in any way they want to be supported. If they want to be trained up, we're happy to do that. If they want us just to manage it completely on there and we can do that. And we can also support their clients in the different needs that they have. It's worth noting that some people want this for any money laundering. Yeah. Some people want this solution not just for fraudulent transactions, um, but maybe for fraudulent invoices internally. Yeah. It might be time to change the name of the product. It's much more than just safer payments. <laughs> Fantastic, but what a great example of an Australian organization and IBM taking innovations around the world. Yeah. So turning the mind to the future, where yeah. to next? Uh, where do ASL and ISW oh, wow. want to take this set of collaborations? So um, from our perspective, we're experts in payments and that's at our core. Mm -hmm. um, but the two key themes from a strategy point of view um, are two. One is um, digital and the second is data. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for complementary digital and data solutions that complement that payment experience. From a data point of view, that's where we would put the financial crime or the safer payment solution. Because what it's doing is using the data from the payments, understanding whether there's a risk or not, and providing that response back to our customers. But it extends a little bit further than that. So, um, you know, customers want to process payments. They don't care whether it's one payment rail or another payment rail. They just want the fastest and best and most secure. Um, so for us, creating technology and being able to partner with ISW and IBM um, gives us the ability where we can be a bit more flexible, a bit more innovative, particularly around using APIs and all that type of technology to be able to provide you know, better solutions into the into the future. We're working on those at the moment. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective, Bo? I mentioned earlier the cognitive capabilities, mm -hmm. machine learning. Some people talk about the AI, AI components. Where we are trying to stay a step ahead of Trent and his clients is diving deep into that, cleaning the data, getting good results from the data. Mm -hmm. So when we can get false positives down, when we can get, you know, the fraud platform to recognize 99 point whatever percent of, of fraudulent payments, he's got some good data to work with. And, and of course he can pass that on to his clients. What's neat about Trent's model, if I may, is that we've put together a model, a hosted model, but it's a multi-tenanted model. Mm -hmm. So as he brings clients on board, each one of his clients has their own individual instance mm -hmm. to manage their own fraud platform. So they can then share that information if they decide. So when they recognize a trend with fraud, one of their financial institutions, one of their customers can recognize it, identify it, and then share it with the others. Trent, his team, they can write a rule, they can change a rule, they can test a new rule and react much faster than, well, what our competitors are doing with like a black box type model. Yeah. So while we give them access to the tool, they can tweak it, they can refine their models and share it immediately with their clients. Really powerful example of an ecosystem within oh, yeah. an ecosystem. 100%. You know, our customers will tell us that they're managing financial crime at the moment, but they're having more and more people sitting there having to look at transactions and looking at events that are going on. Um, with this solution, the benefit of having more data going into those decisions and into that scoring, it allows them to get allow the transactions that are right mm -hmm. to go through, mm -hmm. no question. Know which ones are the bad ones. They know they're bad, they know how to do that. Um, but in between, it's the ones that they need to investigate. And, you know, investigating transactions, I don't think will, you know, ever go away in the short term. Yeah. But it's the next step, you know, do they need to interact with their customers? And if they can minimise that mm -hmm. and make a decision based on the transaction without upsetting the customer or disrupting the customer's mm. experience, it's just a better experience overall. So um, the beauty of the IBM um, technology, it helps us to create other innovations. So. You know, if we look at some of the um, other competitors in the market and what they're offering, it's very manual. Um, but, the in, but the way the technology is established with IBM and through ISW, we're actually able to provide a real effective um, digital customer experience for our customers. 
Um, so rather than, you know, you might have a fraudulent potential fraudulent transaction, you get somebody ringing you up and you don't know who they, who they are on the other end of the line. And they're telling you that, you, you know, you've got fraud. Um, we'll be able to do that via digital means. So whether that's, you know, sending an SMS, notification through their banking app um, or other form, um, we can interact with the customers in a more trusted way rather than picking up the phone, which most of our competitors do. So while we absolutely work within the global financial architecture, there's also local regulatory requirements. Yeah. Bo, how are you and uh, ASL overcoming those unique customizations? So the importance of the, the, these regulatory requirements is we can't do anything that would put the Australian financial system, we can't, the integrity of it must stay intact. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> so there's a lot of auditing, there's a lot of regulatory requirements that must be met. Mm -hmm. We do work closely with ASL. You know, there's reports that need to be generated. All this has to be reported back to the APRA, Australian Prudential Regulatory Authority. Mm -hmm. Every country has a different regulatory authority, but they all have the same mandate. Mm -hmm. Do not upset the integrity of your <laughs> financial system. Yeah. The, the, the tool is very powerful in the sense that it can auto generate a lot of those reports or it can, you know, we can write, e easily write script. ASL are an APRA regulated ADI okay. and the majority of our customers are the same. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of, um, you know, regulations that we need to abide by like CPS 231, 234, mm -hmm. uh, managing through um, all of those requirements. Um, and we do that with ISW, so mm -hmm. we know that everything's taken taken care of from a compliance perspective. Okay. And then that gives the confidence to our customers as well, because they're under the same regulations. So if they look to ASL and we're providing this solution that they know is compliant, again, that builds on the confidence and trust that they have in what we're doing. Trust the license to operate. Yeah, that's a great example. True. Some clients require all the way up to ISO 27001 standard, mm. an international standard, and ISW, we have that. Fantastic. And when clients need the entire solution certified, we have the capability of doing that. So we try to be, you know, as Clint, as Trent's clients have different needs, we can respond even at that, you know, that security level. I understand and you've provided a great ex explanation around the IBM safe payments capabilities, mm. but you're also employing a broader set of IBM technologies as part oh, of your build. Yes. Our clients have different needs. So what we have learned is this offering has the need for us to introduce different IBM software into mm -hmm. the accounts. MQ is mm -hmm. one that comes. Um, ACE, yep. you know, the integrator, is another two. So those two almost always are bundled in, mm -hmm. which is, but then moving forward, we have conversations with clients around Sterling, you know, the secure connection. I mean, we had a Sterling requirement on, a, on another product. And so we, you know, came back to, well, you had a requirement around the file transfer. And we came back and looked at, at, at IBM and we're in the process of procuring that solution as well. Fantastic. Yeah. It speaks volumes to around how this capability can, can be integrated seamlessly into a number of different organizations' yeah. architectures. So Bo and Trent, uh, thank you very much for spending some time and the brilliant set of collaborations that you've unlocked working in partnership and indeed working in partnership with IBM. We really look forward to taking the partnership to new heights over the fullness of time and uh, we're here to support you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank mate. you.